Hi, welcome back to Vintage Family Recipes with Belle. Today, I'm going to make what my mom and her sisters labeled Old Fashioned Muffins. That's because my grandmother didn't call them anything and she had no recipe. It was a handful of this, a pinch of that, a little scoop of this, and that was her recipe. So in the 1970s, my aunt and my mom finally convinced my grandmother to write the recipe down, or to allow them to write it down, I should say. And so they made her use measuring cups and measuring spoons for the first time. So let's get started. First thing is this recipe, do not use a mixer. Even if you have one, don't use one. You have to use a spatula or it's gonna be over mixed and it won't taste good. Also, they will taste better if you use whole milk. You can use 1%, 2%, skim, whichever you would like, but whole milk, also known as sweet milk back in the 16, 17, and 1800s, makes the recipe taste so much better. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is have a cup of sugar. I have my one cup of sugar. I'm going to need a tablespoon of melted butter, so I'm gonna pop over and put that in the microwave. Iggy, get off the counter. Now I have my tablespoon of butter. Iggy will not be in our next video. He's a bit of an issue when I'm trying to cook. So there's my tablespoon of butter, and I'm gonna mix it in well with my sugar. Next, I'm gonna put in my egg and my vanilla. So it's one egg. I always like to crack mine in a bowl in case for some reason I have a bad egg because putting a bad egg in a recipe then wastes everything else that you've done. So I like to put it in a bowl. I also like to whisk it first with a spoon or a fork or a whisk just because then it makes it easier to mix in with your batter. So there's that. And next I'm gonna put in my vanilla. I used to make these so often that I had the mem mess recipe memorized. Right now, not so much. A teaspoon of vanilla, and now I mix that together. Now I'm gonna add my flour, my baking powder, my salt, and my milk. I need two cups of milk, I'm going to alternate between my milk and my dry ingredients. And I'm going to grab a smaller bowl to mix my dry ingredients. I need three cups of flour. And the recipe will be down in the comments so that if you'd like to use the recipe, um, you will be able to get it for yourself and make these at home. If you decide to do that, drop me a comment and let me know how they turned out. I'd love to hear from you. You need two teaspoons of baking powder, not salt, baking powder. Catch that mistake right away. The recipe says a teaspoon or less of salt. I tend to go on the light side of the salt. I usually use about a half a teaspoon and I actually just poured those two right in the batter. I didn't mix them in with the flour. I could have, but I didn't. I like to mix a little bit of the milk in to get the batter nice and liquidy before I put my first amount of flour in because it will get stiff. It's okay if your batter is lumpy in the end. While you're mixing this together, go ahead and preheat your oven to 400 degrees. So then I'm going to add some more milk. Mixed in just a little bit. And then add more flour. There are also some variations to this recipe. My mom said that when they were little, my grandmother would sometimes make them for the morning and she would put either fresh fruit in them, about a cup, so they were more like breakfast muffins, or when she wanted to serve something a little bit more fancy, she would mix in about a half a cup of jelly, or jam I should say, that she had made in the summer and then in the winter time when it was harder to get fresh fruit, she would just mix in the uh, homemade jam with strawberries or blueberries, 
raspberries, blackberries, whichever she had on hand. And they were also a little bit sweeter and they were considered by my family more of a dessert. This is a super easy recipe. It's a great recipe to make if you have little ones because they can easily help you in the kitchen with this. Put them on a stool. I used to put them on the counter when my kids were little. <laughs> you can make these with children. They're super fast, super easy, and kids love to help mix. And I'm just gonna pour all of the last milk in with the last bit of flour and just get it all mixed together so that I can put them in the muffin tins. I'm gonna scoop it into my already prepared muffin pan, pan tin. I like to use the parchment paper in the muffin tin. The reason I like these more is they come off the muffin so much easier than a traditional muffin paper. You want to fill it about three quarters full. The other thing I've done sometimes is I have taken a cinnamon sugar mixture and mixed it on the top of the muffin. So once I fill these last four up, We'll get ready to put them in the oven and they will bake for 15 minutes. Sometimes, depending on your oven, it might take about 18. You want to make sure that they're firm to the touch. So when you push down, it bounces right back up. It doesn't stay smushed down in the center. I like if I've dropped a lot of the batter on the side like I just hit, did here, I like to just take a wet paper towel and wipe that off so that it doesn't stick to my pan while it's baking. This one needs just a little bit more and so does this one. Okay. One more spot. As you can see, I filled up one muffin pan and it's in the oven. This one, there was not enough uh, batter. So I don't want to ruin my pan. I'm going to take a little bit of tap water and I'm going to pour it about halfway full into the pan, each of the empty parts of the muffin pan. That way, while it's in the oven, it doesn't burn where there's no muffins. Oh, they've probably got about three more minutes, but let me see. Ooh, ow, hot, hot. Maybe not, maybe they are done. Test one more just to be safe. They're done. I'm going to let them cool on the cooling rack for about 10 minutes and then slide them out of the muffin tin. The second batch is out of the oven and if you notice where I put water, there's no burning inside the muffin pan, muffin tins. Thanks for watching and join us next time for Vintage Family Recipes with Belle.